Ladies and gentlemen, I kind of felt it was uh, time for me to kind of sit back and talk a little bit about the current state of Red Dead Online again, because as much as I like the game, or, well, have liked the game, I suppose, it's beginning to feel a lot more stale again, and really, I'm not probably not the only one feeling like that, because lately we've been going back to the thing of like, hey, here's a new hat, and that was kind of it. Also, if you log in this week and help us get our numbers up, so the investors think that the game is actually doing very well, then you will get some stuff for your horse. Please log in, we'll give you some carrots for your horse. Thank you for logging in and helping us look good to our investors. I have to give the community team some props. They continuously try to come up with original things and you know fun things actually somewhat worthwhile to come up in a game that doesn't really have a whole lot going for it in terms of gameplay a lot of people and i've have discussed i've had discussions with bunny and just other people just in general on my stream too but we're just kind of sitting there thinking you know what exactly are they for example are going to do bonus cash and rp on because if you think about it there's not really an awful lot they can do bonus cash in RP on because everything is in playlist. If you were to do 20% extra cash on like elimination series, that would be the only thing that will be played for that week only. There's no separate thing for game modes. Like taking GTA Online as an example here, in GTA Online you can simply say, hey, there's double cash in RP on contact mission for Simeon. In Red Dead Online, if you were to have that thing, that would not be possible because everything is, like I said, in a playlist. And it makes sense why Red Dead Online is taking this route, because if we're honest about it, every single match, or every single mode rather, has only five maps at most. Most of the old maps as well are all the same when it comes to game modes. Take for example, name your weapon. Basically, before the new game modes came out in the spring update, a lot of what was going on really was here's the same five maps over and over again and have fun. Shown on large is still something that doesn't really function and is still basically a gigantic mess. And in my personal opinion, I think Rockstar has been really pushing more and more to get people into the regular showdown series rather than the showdown series large so more people play that and don't complain about spawns all that much and basically try to kind of drive out showdown series large personally i don't really mind that because showdown series large is well like i said a bit of a mess especially when it comes to spawns now having said all that all the game modes that I did add in the spring update were definitely very worthwhile additions i personally feel that there were definitely cool modes and a lot of them i really enjoy playing them especially public enemy something that I definitely wouldn't mind happening in a future update is seeing more variety and for example a featured playlist i saw dash the other day tweet to the rockstar saying hey you know the featured playlist kind of has been the same thing for the eternity of time i think they could really utilize that featured playlist and try to throw in a mix of modes and maps in there and you know throw in a bit of a double cash and rp in there if there were to be the case and just kind of let people experience and then more of a variety of different things as well because if you look at it you're going to run into the problem where there are throwing more and more game modes into the game in that showdown series playlist it's going to be extremely cluttered and at some point you know the game modes that you do want to play you're simply not going to be able to play because that playlist is now officially very very cluttered and that's where a featured playlist could really come in handy because especially when they start adding more and more new game modes it's going to get very cluttered very quickly and even now on the showdown series playlist i think a lot of you have certain game modes that they prefer to play and others not so much hostile territory anyone now that is stuff that is already in the game and you know it could already go a little bit of a way to really start you know doing something in the game at least make it a little bit more interesting with the existing content we have obviously the game is definitely in a state where new stuff being added is definitely a priority but judging by the way the things are looking at right now it's not going to be until after casino has been released in gta online that we're going to be seeing some more stuff added in red dead online itself so we're going to be stuck here in the situation for at least a little bit and i feel that maybe that's featured playlist thing 
thing might go a little long way. I feel that double cash and RP is, or whatever you want to call it is definitely something that will intensify people to play it and also makes it feel a little bit more worthwhile to actually go and even try the game. Yesterday I was trying to stream some Red Dead Online and I ended up feeling very empty and like really quick like I don't want to play this anymore. And the reason I, you know, obviously I still stream because people enjoy watching it, they come out of the streams, you know, I stream it every Tuesday, but I just, I just couldn't find any sort of enjoyment anymore out of the game, which in a way it's kind of worrying because I'm always finding something to do but if you're playing the same maps and the same modes and the same everything it basically I guess in my case every week because my daily streak that I had of 40 days is broken now and I just I just don't care enough to try to go ahead and you know get the streak going again because it's like you know I actually don't mind not having to log into the game to bother to do something it's in a way it's a bit sad because the game still has all the potential and I'm really setting my hopes for the summer update, which is sounding pretty promising, but again, you know, we don't really know much about it other than the fact that it's coming this summer and definitely, but more so, more than likely after the casino update has been released for a couple of weeks. So yeah, I don't think we're going to be seeing that until like August, maybe September. I don't know when the summer end again, I don't remember. But either way, yeah, we're going to be stuck in this situation for a little while. But this was just some of my thoughts uh, with it. Maybe you have some suggestions that you would like to give in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. Let's have a little discussion about it. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you all later.